what's up y'all welcome back to my channel um i told you guys on my last video that i will be back to show you everything that i bought from shop miss a wish.com and shop hush um most of the items that i will be showing you guys are one dollar um two things that i want to show you guys also um so let's quick the chit chat and let's get right to it our product so some of these items that you saw me use in my affordable makeup three dollars and under type of video um so i'm just gonna quickly go through the ones that you guys can see me so again on brows today i have she she eyeshadow eyeshadow eyebrow gel um this stuff is really freaking nice it is super easy to pick up on your brush um it looks great on my eyebrows let me come come in and let you guys see what the brows look like um i was a little worried um because they only had brown and black um black was extremely black like and my eyebrows are black or dark brown whatever you want to call it so i was a little nervous that this was going to be too light but it's actually perfect and i really like it um it does stand up to my um abh uh dip brow so i just like this i like this stuff you saw me use this aoa bb what is it called bb perfect skin perfecting color correct it's a BB cream. Um, the only thing that I can say about this product is on their website, it's not a lot. There are not a lot of shades. Um, Rich was like the second to last shade. So if you're any darker than me, these aren't gonna work for you. And most of the foundations on Shop Miss A is not gonna work. Um, let me go back. This is from Shop Hush. Um, this is from Shop Miss A. Um, so. It's a really good color match for me. Um, I do like it. It does not oxidize. It's super lightweight. It's super blendable. Um, yeah, the only thing that I can say is the color range sucks. That's all I can say. Moving right on, Beauty Studio concealers. Um, I got one in Fawn and the other one in Chestnut. Um, these are really thick. These are super, super thick. And that could either be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I think it looks really good under my brows. I think this chestnut color looks really good for, you know, a little contour for me. Um, I feel like this shape oxidizes a little bit. I wore it one other time besides um, the video that I filmed for you guys. And it almost looked a little orange. So just be careful. I think it's really the shade that I got. So maybe I'll go back on their website and get a darker shade. Um, but when I didn't use a whole lot and I blended it really well and I topped it over with my favorite, like, you know, contour palette and stuff, um, it works really nicely. So I can say that. Um, and these are also from Shop Miss A. I use this Makeover Essential Contour Kit. You saw me use this bad boy that day too. Um, I feel like I like this more for setting my face than I do for contouring because for me these these contour shades are not dark enough granted this whole palette was one dollar um, and I feel like it was great but at the same time it kind of sucks because this is literally the only shade that it comes in. so it barely works for me and I'm the skin tone that I am so if you're darker than me this isn't gonna work but if you're lighter than me you might actually love this um, I did use it with my eyeshadow as well very blendable um, very soft powders check out the, the, the mirror y'all like the, the mirror on this mug is nice very big i would use this just to do eyeshadow or just to do my face in general which i was doing on that last video so i do like this it's just not for contouring it's just not it's not a box for me but i do enjoy it because it was only a dollar and um i feel like if they just added some more shades it would be it would be on point so um when you saw me use this little palette from wish wish.com oops you saw me use this palette from wish.com um this ugly little brush you know all these little things come from um i think it's cute 
but really like there's only like two transition shades and they're like my skin tone. The lid shades are um, super pigmented, but I mean at the end of the day, they're really nice. Um, to be for a dollar, for me to get it for a dollar, it's not bad. Um, will, I, will I get it again? Probably not because it's not really worth it. Um, but if, you know, maybe I wet the brush to get a little more pigment out of um, the foil shades, then maybe, maybe we can work with it. But it's okay. I mean, mascara and eyeliner duo. Um... It's all right. It's okay. Like, I think the brush um, for the mascara is really, really soft. I feel like my lashes were longer, but it wasn't like dramatic, dramatic. And then on top of that, like, I noticed like after an hour, like it started to flake. So I really don't like that at all. Like, cause then you get the black dots all over your, your face and it make you look stupid. Um, eyeliner, it was really matte, but I felt like that was doing the same thing. So I don't know if it's the formula. It says that it's made out of avocado oil or it has avocado oil in it or something. So I don't know if that's why it flaked or it was flaking. But I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try again and I'll see. Um, but this was also, this is either one or two dollars. I can't remember. I think it was two dollars. Um, but either way, most of the products that I'm showing you are three dollars and under um besides two with an exception exception of two um items that I got so it's also with this little ugly thing to it but it is a I don't know I feel like this is a pastel kind of shimmer um palette some of these do have pretty good pigment other ones don't the pastel colors are really powdery um but this was also a dollar from shop miss a so i feel like you know it's not bad um i could work with it and you know maybe if i wet my brush and stuff maybe i'll get better pigment but i know for sure these two browns right here have really good pigment um i tried it another day um but some of these other shades are really powdery and doesn't they, they don't really have pigment like a lot um but i can see on the back of this the main ingredient in this is talc so like talcum powder that's probably why some of these shades are super powdery so just keep that in mind but that was also a dollar from shop palette from shop no wish.com i got this palette from wish the colors are really pretty um they're not as pigmented as i want them want them to be um another thing that i don't really like is all of these are like shimmer like all of them are really shimmer like i did try it one day and I tried to throw some of these colors on my crease and it just looks stupid to me. It just looks stupid because some of them had like a shimmer type of, you know, reflex or whatever you want to call it in it. And I really wasn't feeling that, but I mean, for it to be a dollar, it was bad. Um, so I would say like you get what you pay for. So if you paid a dollar for something, two dollars, you can't you can't really expect it to have quality as, as like an Anastasia Beverly Hills type of palette or anything like that. So just keep that in mind when you guys buy like lower end makeup or affordable makeup. It's not going to be as quality. Not everything. Don't get me wrong because some of these products are pretty good quality to be only a dollar or whatever. So um, let's just keep going. Um, also, I got this little uh pro sealer matte setting spray um i don't think i tested it enough to get like a, a really good <clears throat> excuse me to get a really good like you know to tell you guys anything about it um it's a setting spray it made my makeup not go nowhere i don't really know what else to say about that but um i'll keep trying it i'll see if i have anything else to tell you guys about it but to me, it's just a normal setting spray, and I think that was $2. Moving right along, I have done a ton of, like, I don't know if you want to call them liquid lipsticks, because to be honest, like, they're not, okay, not all of them are 100%, they don't 100% dry down. Some of them feel a little sticky, 
but I feel like it's only if you really like apply way too much. Like if you apply way too much, your lips gonna stick together. Like, trust me, but um, I think for them to be a dollar, really cute shades. Um, I like to wear these and put like lip glosses on top, which make them feel so good. Um, so let's start out with the color that I got on my lips right now. I have on Hippie. This is Hippie. The only thing that I can say about these products, this um, only thing I can say about um, this brand, they don't put the colors on the bottom. Like, there's not, the colors aren't on the bottom. There's only, like, numbers at the bottom, which that's hard for me to know what color I'm using. So, when I got them, I just used a Sharpie and kind of wrote what the name of the color was. So, I got a bunch of these. but they are super matte so that's why I was you know more drawn to them than I would have been normally just because um, they actually have pretty good pigment like okay let me let me swatch one for you this one is called peach blossom peach blossom um, so they do have really good pigment, but they're really not, they're really not matte liquid lipsticks. They, they aren't marketed as matte liquid lipsticks. They call, they're called Madly Matte Lip Gloss. Um, so they're, they are matte, but they're really lip glosses. So I can see that's probably why they're a little on the stickier side or whatever. Also, I got four, four metallic lip glosses. So let's see, I haven't, let's swatch this blue one. I just want to show you guys what they look like. Um, and mind you, let me know in the comment section if you guys want like a full um, swatch video. I'll do a full swatch video of all of these lip glosses and mm, yeah, all of these lip glosses and metallic lip glosses and all that stuff. I will do a video of like that if you guys want to see it. So just let me know. sorry about that i just realized i had my fan on so i hope the value <laughs> on this little first part isn't horrible um but either way um let's go back into what i was saying um i did get some madly matte metallic lip glosses this one is in the shade denim so let me swatch it and i want to show you guys what they look like they're actually really pretty um And mind you, all these colors were a dollar. So that is denim. So that's really pretty, you guys. To be a dollar, like, these are pretty. And I can appreciate them because they are labeled as matte lip glosses. They're not labeled as liquid lipsticks, which most, you know, most of these products are labeled as liquid lipsticks. And then you, you mess around and find out that they sticky and they're gross like I can deal with these because I can just throw a lip gloss on top and look fire you feel me so okay let's move right on those all were from shop hush so now I'm gonna show you well let me show you one more lip gloss I got from shop hush this is aloe vera lip gloss I was really intrigued by this product super intrigued because I love aloe vera um and it was like lip gloss and it says moisturizing vitamin e this is actually a bop this is like a nice lip gloss i really do like it um it's not super sticky um it has like a really fresh smell um and it's not too thick either and it actually does moisturize your lips so i mess with this i'm definitely gonna buy some more of these and i also got this from shop hush so keep going i went on shop miss a 
and I was just looking around, looking around, looking around, and then I saw these super, super duper fire diamond top lip glosses. I got one in the shade 24 karat, 24 karat, so look how pretty that is. And then I got the other shade in Glam. I'm definitely going to buy more of these. So let me let me show you guys what these are hitting for. Let's let's I'm gonna show you what these what these bad boys look like. So I did wear this. I'm gonna insert. Hopefully, I can insert the clip of um what this bad boy looked like on my lips because it looks so pretty it was the 24 karat gold so there that one is and this is a diamond top lip gloss so you can put this on any type of liquid lipstick um i have my camera cut off um but i did show you guys the diamond top lip gloss um and 24 karat gold and then i wanted to show you uh all the I got um, some metal liquid lipsticks from Shop Miss A. And I already swatched a shade. I swatched Aura. This is what it looks like in the bottle. And then that is what it looks like on my hand. So the shade after. So this, this gold shade right there, which is super pretty. And I can't wait to add more of these to my collection because they're really nice. They're super nice. Okay, so from, where did I get this from? I'm having a brain fart. Shop Hush, I got some um, Deluxe Ultra Fine Eyeliners. So I got one in neon blue, violet, and avocado. So I just want to show you guys what one of them looks like. I'm not about to swatch all of them. Um, so this is this one, that blue, that's neon blue. That's the that's the liner right there. So they're super creamy and buttery. I haven't used them in my waterline yet, um, but I will use them and I will keep you guys updated and let you guys know what I think of those um, because those are really cute. Uh -oh. Only thing that I can say I don't like about them is the tops. They don't stay on right. So I have to keep them like a certain way in my little container because I don't want them to like go everywhere. Last but not least, I was debating um, I know you guys have seen the recent Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, um, the Subculture palette and the Prism palette. So because, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you guys know about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette and Prism palette. Um, so on Shop Hush, they have a lot, a lot, a, a lot of dupe, um, eyeshadow palettes. Um, so this retro palette, retro love palette by them um it's actually by the brand bad habit um this is supposed to be a dupe for the subculture palette so it looks pretty similar um i don't want to swatch any of them for you guys because i will be doing own videos for those um let me know what you guys want me to do you want me to do just a look that i've come up with myself or do you want me to find a look um, that someone else did and then try to recreate it with this palette. So just let me know Also, the prism palette is supposed to be like the bad habit aura aura palette so this is The aura palette that's supposed to be the prism palette. So it also looks very similar um, I have swatched them already On my own. I'm not gonna tell you guys how the pigment was and all that. I want to save that for that video but this is the end of this video. I am done showing you guys the 
makeup that I got from Shop Miss A, Shop Hush, and Wish. Um, most of these products besides these palettes were $3 and under. Um, if you guys do want to see a swatch video on my lips of all of these colors that I bought, please let me know down in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel, you guys. It would be very, very appreciated. Um, I do appreciate my subscribers now. Thank you guys for um, watching my videos and being in tune with me. Also, follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat if you guys would like. Um, and I'm not sure what my next video is going to be. I got a couple of things lined up, a couple of things that I want to do. Um, so, if you guys have any suggestions for me and um, for videos that you want to see, please leave them down in the comment section. And, um, like again, like I said again, thank you guys for watching. Um, and I will see you guys in the next Um, and I forgot. Um, yeah, I wanted to come and ask you guys a question. Um, I was trying something different with my hair. Um, please let me know in the comment section if you guys like it. Um, basically I did twist outs on both sides, let these hang. And then I did um, one, two, three, I think four, four twist outs going up. And then I just added this cute, um, like kinky type of textured ponytail to the top. Um, this is a little different style for me. Um, I'm usually really natural where I'm just wearing a wig or something. Um, so yeah, just let me know in the, in the comment section if you guys like this um, hair look if you want to call it whatever um also please um let me guys let, let me guys let me know you guys if you want to see hair videos from me or more wig videos or me styling my wigs or how i you know keep my wigs up or whatever um just let me let me know you guys in the comments um also i have like foundations that i need to review I have got a MAC Cosmetics haul, mini little haul coming up, um, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to do a full MAC look, and just stay tuned, you guys. I don't want to give away everything, um, but there are a few things that I want to do on my channel that I have lined up for all of us, so um, please um, just stay tuned, you guys, and like I said, let me know um, what you guys want to see. So thank you very much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Toodles, noodles. Bye.